Hello and welcome everyone to the YouTube channel of One Step Grow. I am Diksha Singhal, your moderator for the day. And with me, I have Chinmay Rai, who is currently serving as a technical support engineer at ODC. So hi Chinmay, welcome to One Step Grow. And first of all, I would want to know how are you and how your day was. Hello Diksha, uh, thank you for introducing me. Uh, my day was quite a bit of hectic because uh, currently I'm working in a company who is in a startup, which is in a startup phase. Mm -hmm. So I have working, I've been working on two to three projects currently. So today it was a uh, totally hectic day for me. Yeah. But yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's life for one day. That's so sweet of you for taking us time from your hectic schedule. So Chinmay, first of all, I would want to know that why did you choose to be in data science? Like what motivated you? You are already in a great engineering field. So why do you want to do a career transition? Yes, yeah, so as you uh, know, I am a computer engineer. So basically, I wanted to do something related to uh, CS field in future. For example, mm. uh, doing a, a job in a multinational company or working on yeah. my own company. But I wanted to do yeah. something CS field. So basically, okay. uh, it is according to my research and all. I uh, had a research basically which field currently is booming in uh, IT. And okay. currently there are Java and HT, uh, CSS and HTML. But later on, the uh, things which is going to take over is data science. And all already right. data science is booming. But mm -hmm. after uh, one to two years, three years, the data science will take over and it is going to be there at the top for maximum 10 to 15 years only. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to enroll in this myself also because uh, I want to go much uh, higher in this uh, programming world. Right. And there are much more job opportunities in data science here. Yeah. Amazing. Definitely, as you mentioned, that there are a lot of job opportunities. That's the reason just on a one click on internet, we see a lot of data science courses booming up right mm. now, different institutions giving the courses. So that's, I think, a great move at this early stage of data science. Um, I want to know that how did you start your learning journey? As you said that you are doing some kind of research for data science. So how did you find the right institutions for you? And what are the practices that you took up? Yeah, yeah. yeah like I realized that in college, what I gained from the college the knowledge i gained from college was not capable it, it was not enough for me to compete in at higher level for achieving my dream job at a multinational company okay the lectures and the theories were not uh, up to date and it, all the syllabus most of the syllabus is outdated in the college uh, syllabus curriculum mm -hmm. so basically i wanted to achieve something so when i started a job in company uh, any when I, any anyone starts a job in a company uh, yeah. They get to know that uh, the theory, the practical knowledge which was given in the college is, uh, is it is of no use. Okay. So, uh, yeah, because companies uh, require practical applications, we are, we don't have much knowledge uh, in college. So, I wanted to have, enroll a course which offers me uh, practical knowledge okay. because uh, currently surviving this uh, world, we need something uh, ap uh, applied knowledge for yeah. working and doing. Yes, definitely. So, yeah, uh, I researched about data science and I got to know through my many relatives and friends that uh, data science is uh, actually a very helpful course and it is a full pack of course because uh, there are many languages, Python, SQL, and there yeah. are many other applications also like Tableau. Uh, Ma, Tableau. Uh, the, because of this, uh, you can boom in any mm -hmm. other field also if you want. So, it's definitely. not like you have to be a science, yeah. Definitely. I think that was great said, because as you mentioned that practical learning and applicability of, you know, the concept is really important. So that's, I think, a pro tip for all the viewers here that just don't go for the theoretical or recorded kind of videos, but the live sessions or the practical learning, I think is, is a great way to, you know, succeed. So on that note, I would just want to know that, as you mentioned, that you were looking for different kinds of courses across the internet so what did you find out like what kind of courses would you recommend the viewers would you tell them to go for a live you know recording live classes video um, of lectures or would you say that okay you can have recorded sessions as well if you're working right now as me so what would you tell them to prefer 
Okay, so basically I was uh, searching for courses which I can uh, enroll and update myself. Mm-hmm. So I went to multiple websites and I had enrolled. I had already joined multiple groups which were providing uh, the courses or advertisement for courses. So I came across yeah. one step grow through that uh, WhatsApp group only. Mm-hmm. So, but before that, I had compared. Uh, I, had, uh, I had compared from Udemy and Upgrade also. Uh, right. The courses same for the data science because I wanted to do data science. So, mm-hmm. where that uh, in Upgrade or Udemy, the courses are eighty percent live. Um, rest twenty percent was not live. So, uh, in this, there is a problem that you couldn't. Uh, you are not able to uh, take a doubt session. You are not able to attend a doubt session. There is no doubt session. So yeah. that is very important. Mm-hmm. Because if you are practicing on your own, you need to clarify your doubts, and if the doubts are not clear, you will not be able to grow. Definitely. So when I came across One Step Grow, so I did my research here in the company. What the thing? What are the things which are pro- which they are providing, and what are the things which are different from the other companies? So mm-hmm. one thing I got is uh, here in One Step Grow, they are providing hundred percent live lectures. Okay. Plus the professionals, the trainers who are teaching us, they are totally uh, the Uh, working, they are totally working professionals because they have specialized. Uh, uh, they are working already in a specialized fields, and that's the part where they are uh, teaching us. For example, there is a Pranindu sir, so he is teaching us Python, and he is very good at teaching Python. He he keeps the classes very interactive. The, right. Uh, then other sirs have different uh, specializations, and according to that, the server, the every trainer was awesome in teaching, and I had a fabulous uh, experience with the one step pro. that's that's really amazing to hear about uh, hear about your experience and how did you do some research something like that um apart from this i would definitely want to know that you know let's just talk about your challenges because since you are just a fresher who have entered a new field of engineering and then you are trying to switch into data science so definitely there might be a lot of challenges you have faced in your journey and also i would want to know with those challenges how you kept yourself motivated Yes, yes, yes. The most, the biggest challenge was doing the classes side by side, doing my work and classes at the both same time, mm-hmm. and it was a quite a bit of challenge because I had to manage much time. But due to the flexible timing of the one step group courses, the I was able to easily access and attend the classes, and I never meant I never missed a class because uh, there were every time there was an alternative for the class. For live lectures, and also if I wasn't able to attend at some point or some day I wasn't able to attend, there was recorded lecture which I was full right. fully access mm-hmm. for me. So right. here, due to this, I was easily able to manage my work and uh, my classes at mm-hmm. the same time. So keeping motivated myself, I had, it was a bit of challenge uh, managing work and classes at the same time. बट गाइज मैं आपको एक एडवाइस देना चाहूंगा कि डोंट पुश योर सेल्फ टू मच यू शुड ऑलवेज चिल आउट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड यू शुड गो आउट एंड हैंग आउट विद योर फ्रेंड्स बट एट दी एंड यू शुड बी कंसिस्टेंट एंड यू शुड बी फोकस एट वॉट यू आर लर्निंग करेंटली and you should always be dedicated to the project so definitely that was a great piece of advice by you chinmay for all the viewers i think especially for the beginners who want to be in the data science field what kind of projects did you practice because i think that's the most important thing when you want to ace an interview for data science definitely the projects that you have practiced plays an important role so could you please tell the viewers about the projects that you did okay so i did plethora of projects and there were different kinds of projects related to different industries and i can say that uh, each algorithm had a uh, separate project so basically 80% of the course was based on projects and learning happened through projects only so there were many projects so there was also some capstone projects which were okay. at high end for the knowledge high end uh, uh, information for the algorithms okay personally Uh, it is not easy to perform. It took me fifteen to twenty days to complete a project. But right. I tell you, the, all the learning is uh, through this project only. I learned a lot from this project. Here, uh, I did uh, data cleaning, data where uh, here I did uh, data cleaning, data wrangling, uh, feature engineering, EDS, and also I build uh, models. And later on, I deployed it using uh, AWS. Your overall experience was enriching, and I learned almost every tool, but which can't be explained here. But the project was really helpful. 
All right. I think that's really a very descriptive way to talk about the projects and the kind of projects that you practice, the tools that you practice, and definitely the tools that beginners or the other people who want to be in the field of data science can practice in their projects. So that is, I think, really nice to know. Um, at the last, I would just want to know that if you want to define your overall experience at One Step Grow, so how would you define that? Okay, so at every step, I was helped by the trainers and uh, Ravi sir guided me a lot through this course from the beginning. He mm -hmm. helped me guiding me through the every project and every course. So okay. overall, the course is very fabulous and uh, I was very helpful and the journey was very enriching for me. All right. I think that's really a very nice note. So on that note, before ending the session, I would just want to know that what would be your last note or message to all the aspirers of data science okay so as i said earlier data science is booming extensively so every it's not necessary that every person needs to get in data science field, but there are many sub parts for data science like python the mm -hmm. person can enroll in python and get a good job at python yeah but uh, i would suggest like you should do, do a overall research on data science and you should enroll the course you should uh, start studying as soon as possible. Also, like to add that while selecting a course, you should always watch out for the well structured course. Internet is filled with various courses, but the sequence of the course is not uh, with the great, it is not organized, well organized. So, basically, watch out for example for DS data science. You should watch out for first, you should be studying Python, then statistics, NML, and NLP, etc. Uh, uh, it should be in sequence for better understanding. And uh, not just this, uh, look out for the courses which have which are based on one to one live sessions and uh, mm. they give you the access of the recorded session because the flexibility of switching the batches is necessary if you're a working professional like me. So lastly, like I would uh, give you advice, like practice your projects with dedication and like developing a project from start to the end of the output. Uh, it's a complete uh, beneficial for yourself because it helps you to ease your interview. And uh, lastly, I would say be motivated and consistent. Thank you. I think that was a very great message by you, Chinmay. Definitely, you have covered, I think, almost all the points that are necessary for a beginner in the data science field or a person who is changing the domain to data science. I think these are all small tips that are definitely going to help the people to start their journeys and absolutely ace their journeys. So thank you so much, Chinmay. It was great talking to you and having you on One Step Grow. Thank you so much for your time.